Uh, welcome again, uh, Oliver Gardner here for the for Regeneration International and uh, the Organic Consumers Association. Uh, and I'm here with uh, Lucrezia, Lucrezia Caron, yes. um, who's been working today on um, on a side of it, of the... Plenary uh, Assembly, of, of the, the GSP. Of the Global Soil Partnership. Um, so, what happened today exactly? Yeah, today it happened that we organized a side event on soil contamination and pollution. Uh, it was a side event of the plenary assembly of the Global Soil Partnership and uh, it, uh, it was also a seminar to open the path toward the organization of another big event of the GSP for 2018, which is uh, the Global Symposium on Soil Contamination and Pollution. So the, the, to go a bit more into the details, the seminar was a, a part of a memorandum of understanding signed by FAO with the main Italian Research Institute in 2015. And we talk about uh, uh, what is soil contamination, what is soil pollution, which are the main forms of contamination and the major consequences for the environment and for the human health and ecosystems in general, actually, uh, to then pass to remediation of soil contamination and uh, the policy, thanks to the intervention of the European Commission, especially. Wow, so, so you, you actually do uh, follow a few principles um, and you uh, have based yourself on uh, research and you are looking also at, at global trends uh, in terms of soil contamination. Where is it all at globally? Yeah, that's right. Uh, actually, in 2015, for the in occasion of the celebration of the World Soil Day, we published uh, this uh, document. It's the status of the World Soil Resources Report. Here, with I'm just presenting you the technical summary, but uh, there is a main report which is like 600 pages long. So I'm not showing you that. And uh, I prepared for you to show the main trends on soil contamination that came out from this report. So this is a global map in which you can see which regions, these are the regions in which the Global Soil Partnership is organized, um, which uh, regions are doing good, which are doing just fair and which are doing uh, mm. bad, or actually the situation is uh, uh, degrading mm. with so, relation so that, to that in, red, that in red there, that's not doing too good or, or you know? Uh, well, you have to look at the arrow. This yeah. is uh, North Africa and the Near East. The arrow is down, so it means that the situation is deteriorating. So, soil contamination is increasing, actually. And uh, otherwise, in Europe and Eurasia, the situation is improving. Same for the South of Pacific and North America. In the Latin American regions, uh, the situation is stable. and. Uh, also, it's getting worse in, uh, in Asia, which anyway, compared to Africa, if you look at the color, um, well, the, the status, the current status is not so good, but it's uh, not as bad as in uh, north of Africa and, uh, and the Near East. Mm, so, um, what are the main causes of soil contamination? Well, I mean, as we all know here at the OCA, you know, we're, we're well aware of the the uh, problem of chemically intensive uh, agriculture, um, but there are also uh, other uh, issues such yeah. as uh, radioactive contamination. Exactly, instance. also war zone or mining or even uh, air pollution, you know, because of the position of contaminants on the soil. And even water pollution can cause soil contamination. So there are several uh, causes of pollution that, oh, actually, and also forms of contaminants that lead to point uh, or um, or large soil contamination, large scale. So, all this to say, really, is to announce that you're organising an event in April. Yes, yes. we do. Yeah. Uh, building on another document we produced, that uh, is the Voluntary Guideline for Sustainable Soil Management, which is. Uh, nothing more than a list of principles to practice sustainable soil management with, the re with reference to the 10 soil threats identified in the status of the World Soil Resources Report, and one of these is soil contamination. We are going to launch activities on soil contamination, uh, which also builds on awareness raising. In this uh, context, we are going to organize a global symposium on soil contamination and pollution that will take place in April 2018.
So who will be taking part in this global symposium? I mean, you, you, the Global Soil Partnership, you've organized um, the first global symposium on soil organic carbon, and now you're organizing the very first uh, symposium on uh, soil contamination. So uh, GSOC 17, which was the, the global uh, soil organic carbon uh, sym symposium on global soil, soil mm -hmm. organic carbon, uh, brought together uh, hundreds of scientists, uh, but not just scientists, but also p policy makers, uh, politicians. It's sort of a mixed bag in the room. And uh, it was the very first time that, you know, all these people got together and to talk about uh, soil organic carbon. Uh, and it happened to be the most scientifically attended event the FAO has ever put on. Um, but now you're coming up with this, um, this, uh, this symposium on soil contamination. So would it be the same? Would it be a bit, you know, would it be similar? Well, we will learn, we are actually learning from all our activities. So we will learn from the experience of the Global Symposium on Soil Organic Carbon. And by learning, we want to make it bigger in 2018. So our audience will be broader. We want, uh, you know, like soil contamination is a very sensitive topic. And uh, we will most likely have among our um, guests or actually the participants to the symposium also the private sector so we want to involve policy maker private sector definitely farmers organization consumers because this is a topic related to soil uh, to human health and uh, also consumer um, consumers behavior and then uh, research institutes universities um, uh, extension services because awareness raising and extension has a major impact on the practice of, uh, or actually, I don't even want to talk about sustainable soil management, but just it has an impact on how you manage your soil. Mm. Yeah. So it's going to be very big. We expect uh, around a thousand people this time. Wow. We hope to make it very big okay. and uh, to involve everybody. And of course, uh, uh, Everybody that is looking at us is invited to join. To join us, we will have a website. You can register to the event, and you are more than welcome to FAO. And uh, and you can also, if so, if you're an independent researcher uh, out there, or somebody uh, who's a farmer who uh, has to deal with uh, contaminated land, yeah. um, and that has data that could be of interest to uh, the global community uh, that researches uh, that. that does a lot of research on, on, on these yeah. issues. You are more than welcome to, to join this global symposium, and also more than well, uh, more than welcome to also join the uh, global soil partnership uh, of the FAO. Definitely, we will make a call for abstract. We will look for posters and uh, result result from the research. But we are also open uh, to to opinions from uh, from the general public and the consumers. Definitely, we can have sessions on that. Lucrezia, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. And uh, all the best of luck for, uh, for organising this event uh, in April that we really look forward to. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching.